Welcome to another fish head video. What happens when you get into a fishing slump? You keep trying, that's what you do. Check this out. What's up, fish head fam? The fishing lately has been a struggle. We haven't been able to catch any fish. We actually had five or six consecutive skunks. If you guys don't know what a skunk is, it's when you go out fishing and you catch no fish at all. Zero fish. We have broken the streak. The streak of bad luck is over. But I'm going to show you guys the struggle that we've had recently while fishing. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to show you an amazing prime rib recipe. Before we get to this, make sure you hit that like button, guys. Do it. Do it. Hit the like button. Check out this awesome prime rib. Rib roast. Let's unpackage this thing. Alright, so we got it out of the package. We're going to leave the string on. The strings are going to help it keep its shape and make it cook better. So the struggle all started a few weeks ago. We went to Lake Talquin. We went to Lake Miccosukee. We couldn't catch a fish. No matter what we did, could not catch a fish. It was crazy. So here is the fish head secret for the perfect prime rib. It's all about the seasoning on these. Well, not all about the seasoning. It's all about the seasoning and the cook. But the first step in the process, before you even start seasoning, you have to prepare the meat. My trick is to score the fat on the top side of the rib roast. That's going to allow the flavors and the seasonings to soak into the fat which while it's cooking will also seep into the meat. Pull out the husk knife, link in the description below guys. And then we're gonna very finely score this fat. Don't even go all the way down to the meat. I did cut one string already guys. Don't wanna cut the strings. It's scored in a crisscross fashion, ready for the seasoning. Now we have to make the seasoning. Garlic, minced garlic. Horseradish. This is a spicy horseradish. You can use regular horseradish if you want. We always like everything just a little bit spicy. We'll mix some thyme leaves in with it. Got that all mixed up nicely. Now we're gonna spread it all over the top of the meat. Sea salt, black peppercorn. It's seasoned. Let's get this to the oven. We preheated it to 325, about 15 minutes per pound of meat. This is a six pound roast. So we're gonna do about an hour and a half. We'll probably check it just a little bit before that. But as soon as it gets to 130, we're taking it out of the oven. Let's go ahead and throw it in there. In you go. Good luck in there. While that's in the oven cooking, and before we go ahead and start the side dish, check out what we did at Lake Talquin. We went there to catch crappie. Watch what happened. Lake Talquin, guys, we're here. It looks awesome. We're at Lake Talquin, dude. You ready to catch some crappie? Oh yeah. This place is pretty sweet. We didn't even have to start up the boat to get it off the trailer. The ramp was nice and steep. Puts you in this little inlet, but then the lake opens up right out there. Hopefully there's some nice water for crappie. We're looking for 12 to 15 feet deep. Lucas is already fishing. Getting any bites except for that big stick fish? Nope. What's the depth here, buddy? 14 feet. Sweet. 13, 14. 13. All right, we're in the perfect depth. 14. Be ready, Dylan. Be ready. Oh, and there's big humps coming up. What a gorgeous day we've got today. It's about 52 degrees. The water temperature is about 64. The rain is over. It did rain last night, but it stopped in time for us to come out here. And it is a nice, calm, pretty day out here. Hey, little guy. See you later. Check out these wild orchids growing on the end of this stump. Time to check it. Oh, it's looking amazing. It's been in for an hour and 15 minutes. It can't be 74 degrees, that's room temperature. 
There is something going on with our thermometer. What are we supposed to do about this? We know the time that it needs to be in there. So I don't think we can destroy this meat, but I really want to see the temperature of it. I told you guys the fishing has been a struggle. And now the meat thermometer is also a struggle. It's okay, we can still make this work. I'm pretty sure timing it out at the right temperature, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna have to go that way since the thermometer is not working, but it should be done in about 10 minutes, which means I need to go ahead and prep the side dish. What we're gonna have is zucchini, baked zucchini. This stuff is great. Zucchini is one of my favorite vegetables snip off the ends. We're gonna quarter this zucchini the long way. Cut it right down the middle. It's never perfect. We'll season these up and throw them in the oven right when we take the meat out. It's magic! We got them spread out on the new pan. Hit them up with some canola oil. All we need for this recipe, garlic. Sea salt again. Ground black peppercorn again. Parm. It bakes over the top of these. And that's what makes it taste really good. That's it. Those guys are prepped and ready for the oven. As Soon as we pull the meat out, we'll throw those in there. All right, it's out. That looks incredible. We gotta let it rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. We'll go ahead and throw the zucchini in. Before we get that going, Check out what happened to us on Lake Mikasuki. We went to Lake Mikasuki for crappie. Watch this. We are on a mission this week. We have five consecutive fishing trips without catching a fish, guys. This is ridiculous and crazy. How can we not be catching fish? We're changing it up. We're going crappie fishing tomorrow morning. Dylan is gonna catch us some live bait. We need live minnows. Lucas is also going to catch us some live bait. More live minnows. Do it, guys. Do it. Get us some live bait. But we're going to Lake Mikasuki in the morning for crappie, and we're going to do a catch and cook tomorrow. We're catching fish. This needs to happen this week, guys. Too many weeks in a row with no fish, including our trip to Orlando last week. If you haven't seen that video, we did a lot more than just fish. So go back and check it out after you watch this one. But let's get some minnows. We need bait. We picked up the five gallon bucket with the bubbler lid. This will keep the minnows alive until tomorrow. We need some. Nice. While they're trying to catch some minnows for bait for tomorrow, I'm just gonna take a few casts, hopefully catch a bass. I'm desperate to do anything. A bass will break this bad luck streak that we have going. Any fish, please. Got lots of bait for tomorrow. At least a dozen minnows or so. I think the crappie candy is in this bucket. Well, no luck on the bass. The fishless streak continues one more day, but we are gonna break it tomorrow. We're bound and determined, guys. All right, guys, we made it to Lake Mikasuki. It is not the best day to take the boat out. It's cold and windy. We have got to catch a fish, guys. We're on a mission and we're not stopping. Let's get the boat in the water. What's going on? Always remember to put the plug in before you put the boat in the water. Almost had to test out our bilge pump on that one. Huge gust of wind came as I was putting the boat in the water and knocked over the whole camera setup. Tripod got damaged. Phones all scratched up on the screen. Hopefully we didn't do any serious damage. We won't know that until I get home and tear the screen protector off and find out. But we're still not giving up guys. We're on this mission to catch a fish. Let's get out on the lake and do this. Zucchini is ready. We'll plate this up and try it out. But before we do that, look what me and Dylan did to try to break the streak of bad luck. Can we actually catch a fish? What's up, fish heads? Today is redemption day. 
We are now on six consecutive skunks while fishing. This is incredible. We have got to catch a fish. We're here at the lake. It's not very far from our house. We took the golf cart here. We're just gonna do anything we can to try to catch a fish to get the skunk off of our backs. How can we not be catching any fish? Can we catch a fish? Please, fish! anything let's do this so dylan's gonna cast the bread ball bait come on dylan catch a bluegill dude go down bobber go down what is going on dude i don't know i don't know either something crazy though all right guys the bluegill are not cooperating i'm gonna try to catch a bass on a lizard this is almost a sure go-to bait for us but i can't make any promises the way things have been going lately Normally, the green pumpkin lizard is a sure thing. All right, he threw out a couple pieces of bread just to try to chum them up, and they're hitting the surface. So they're definitely out there. Just got to get them to hit your bread ball bait. Now Dylan's having an issue casting. You can do it, dude. There it is. All right, come on, take it down. Go under. There they go. Take it. Take it. Go under. Wow, that looks like a bass or something. Go under. Go under. Yes. Yes. It's a bass. It's a crappie. Oh, a carp. Hey, any fish counts, dude. You broke the bad luck streak. Yes. Check it out. Show everybody. Oh no. Oh no. All right. Well, he was on land. Good catch, buddy. Broke the bad luck streak. Yes. Woohoo. We're going to take a few more casts, but at least we finally got something to bite. So the skunk is off of our backs. Yes, Dylan. There goes a deer. Look at the size of this guy. That thing is massive. Good catch, buddy. Oh, yeah. Got on some bluegill. Sweet, dude. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. That's a solid bluegill. Good 10-incher. Good job, dude. All right, not only trash fish, we also got a bluegill. Yeah. I'd say the bad luck streak is officially completely over with. What do you think, dude? Yeah, it definitely is. Nice. We finally caught some fish. Dylan did, I didn't. But I was mainly focused on just breaking the bad luck streak, guys. And it is broken. Next time we go out fishing, I think we're going to slay them. But now it's time to try this amazing prime rib. Oh, look at that. Unbelievable meal. Watch out for the cookbook coming soon. The recipe videos, it's all going to be amazing. You're going to love it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of them. We did break the bad luck streak. Yes! We are not on a fishing skunk anymore. The skunk is off the boat, off our backs. We got some fish last time we went out. Next time we go out, we're gonna catch more. We're making a video this weekend about fishing. You don't wanna miss that one either. Make sure you hit that like button, guys. It really helps us out. Do it, do it, hit the button. Thank you so much for watching this video and all of our videos. We'll see you in the next one.